not everything, everything, because when I tell you they got everything knit now, it's everything. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Jordan on my channel. It's just Jordan. By the way, how long was my lash being disrespectful while blinking? That is not okay. All right, I'm sorry y'all had to go through that. And I know y'all have not seen me in a little minute. I'm back and I am happy to be back because I got so much content that I need to give you guys. Y'all love when I talk about the fashion trends. The last one I did was fall fashion trends. And so today we're gonna be talking about the winter fashion trends. Think about when I talk about trending videos, or not trending videos, but what is trending. I typically talk about the things that I like. Probably honestly already wear like majority of these, but it's fun to hear about the trends just because, you know, it gives you the opportunity to try something new. It might be something that you end up liking and you can apply it to your regular everyday style. So if you feel like you don't like trends or whatever, you don't like keeping up with them, I don't I don't know why you're here. That, that's all I'm saying. So I have 10 trends that I want to discuss with you guys today. I also found like some inspo pics and then I also found some pieces that I personally would wear that goes with the trends. You can find all of the pieces linked down below in the description box by each category. So whatever category you see something you like in, just go to the description box and then it will be linked down below. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first trend. By the way, if you do see me like looking over here, you guys saw my story. I put together like little mood boards. It, it helps keep me on track so I have slideshows. So if you see me going like this, I'm not caca, you know, no offense to anybody who's caca, <laughs> but I'm just letting you know why I may look over there. All right, the first trend is definitely fur. Now I feel like we got like a big intro to fur last year, but like it seems that everybody is like aware now that fur is definitely on trend. There's just so many different ways that you can wear fur, but when I tell you they are putting it on everything nowadays, and I absolutely love it. We've got heels with fur, we've got bags with fur, and of course we've got the fur jackets. It can be fur trimmed. For a little bit of inspo, of course I have the Queen Riri, our girl. She is sporting like a little furry hat. It looks like the Emma Bruin hat. That's what it looks like to me. Those are a little bit pricey. So of course you can find like dupes of that. Also, you guys know I love my Jaded London cardigan with the fur trim, as well as this jacket that I have on now that has some fur trim. That's a really like cute Y2K way to wear fur. Honestly, it's just like a really easy way to just really elevate your outfit, make it super duper chic. I mean, you can wear sweat, a sweatsuit, honestly, with a long fur coat and you just took your outfit up like 10 notches. I did find some pieces for you guys online, starting with this little cheetah print jacket I thought was super cute. It also has a fur trim. Another thing that I found, you guys have seen this already if you have watched my little luxury Christmas gift list, but these heels are to die for. Also, I threw in this brown bag with fur because I told you it's also trending in bags. We've got a super cute fur bucket hat. So I don't know who exactly was like the mastermind behind putting fur onto bags. It's not like a super new concept, but it is something that's heavily being pushed right now. But I will say Bottega is really doing their thing with the fur bag. I have this one right here that's really, really cute. But if you're not into like spending that much money, there are different dupes that you can buy as well. Okay, next up on our trending list, we have the quilted trend. This padded trend, just like the fur trend, it's going on everything, so I don't have to explain to you how deep it gets, just know the rabbit hole is deep. So of course, we kind of see this a lot with puffer vests always, cause I mean, they're going to be padded, but they are taking it and like putting it on things like bags, on totes. We've also went as far as to putting it on the pants. So this was like a thing already with like military and outdoors wear to like, you know, keep you warm, but now it's actually like a more fashion type of thing. So I actually did find a super affordable green pair right here. I did find a few really cute jackets that had this trend going on. Of course, I did like choose like the earth tones, neutral tones, because there's just so much that you can do with those specific jackets. But you can dress these up, you can dress them down. Also came across a couple of really cute bags as well. I just, I'm loving like the plushy trend. Let me just say now that a lot of things that are trending in winter now are just super cozy, super comfy. I feel like 
We've come across a lot of trends, even in winter and fall time, where it's like, you know, you wanna be cozy, but we've got this trend like that you're gonna be super uncomfortable in. But this year, it seems like we are leaning more towards being comfortable. I just realized that I forgot to put this in my outline, but I have to mention that the padded trend also goes on boots, but we will get back to that a little later in this video. Okay, so the little later came sooner than I thought because literally now we're about to talk about snow boots. Never in my life did I think I was going to be buying snow boots. I live in the South, it's not cold here. I really can't go outside and wear this and be comfortable. I'm better off in my house walking around this outfit. But yeah, snow boots, very much trending and they are so very cute. They're giving the drama, but they're also giving cozy. So you do not have to go to the, um, the Appalachian Mountains anymore to buy snow boots, you know, the moon boots. No, you just wear them to the grocery store. You wear them with a dress. You can wear them with some booty shorts. It, it just really doesn't matter. So I really hate it for all the people that hated the Ugg and denim shorts combination because y'all are gonna hate us this winter with these moon boots because we are doing what people used to do with Uggs and denim shorts. We're about to do this with these moon boots. I have to talk about the Yeezy boots. I know you guys have seen the Yeezy boots. First of all, it's like a love or a hate with some people. I'm on team love. But the price on these boots just keep climbing up. So I don't know if I will see them in my closet, but I do have some dupes for you guys that are still really cute. Also comment below, are you team Yeezy boots or are you not feeling these Yeezy snow boots? Cause literally when I tell you, I've seen people in both spectrums. Also following behind the Yeezy boots, we cannot forget about what Prada is doing with snow boots. Again, it is higher in the price range. So if you're feeling like splurging, I linked those below, but, but, I got you if you don't feel like splurging. We're about to get to a very cute pair of dupes. So a little bit on the lower end of this trend are the moon boots. I feel like the moon boots are like the daddy of this whole entire trend because we know that they have been around. I do have a pair of H&M dupes. Let me tell you now, you're gonna have to go in the description box and click and ask them to notify you because I'm waiting on that notification too to get these boots. Just don't buy more than one because I'm trying to get a pair as well. Okay, I don't even know a time where, like, is this not trending? I feel like this is a trend for winter every single year. So at this point, it is a classic. But honestly, for me, I, you're going to see me in this all year because it's just one of the staples in my life. And that is leather. I am like a big stickler about like quality of my fabrics and my clothes like I like it to look a certain way I just I hate for my clothes to look cheap I do recommend looking at the thrift store for leather but one thing about like leather coats and stuff at the thrift store they be they gonna be big they're gonna look like you know the guy that puts the clocks in his jacket so things like that I have to actually buy new occasionally you can find a good leather piece at the thrift store there is nothing higher in my closet I think to me than my black leather trench coat it actually is sold out so I did find a similar one for you guys but yeah anything leather pants leather skirt all of that and leather does not just have to be black like in this picture right here I am wearing like a full brown leather look you also cannot go wrong with a leather blazer recommend thrifting those um, they're also making like little leather tops I found a really cute leather bodysuit from a brand that I really really love and they're great quality but yeah, it's just like a really edgy trend. It's something that you can have a lot of fun with. It's a sure way to make your outfit really, really sleek. Everybody, in my opinion, should own leather. I know some people may not be comfortable with it, but at least like, you know, you can throw on like one little piece. You do not have to be leather down to rock this trend. Okay, so the next trend we have is winter white. I think most of us know like it's okay to wear white after Labor Day. In fact, I feel like it's the best time. It's so chic. And the thing about it is I feel like we used to think that like, oh, your whites have to match and stuff like that. Mm -mm. It's actually really cute when you have different like types of tones. And so with this winter whites thing, we've got the cream tones. We've got like white, white, like oatmeal tones. You know, don't be afraid to like mix those all together because it really just adds like some interest to your outfit when you do that. I feel like in the inspo pictures that I provided, it shows you like that you really can do white in a more edgy way. You can do white in a more cozy way. There's really so many different angles that you can take. I'm obsessed with this one cream cardigan. It looks cozy. You can put it on with like white pants. 
We also even have these white padded pants that I found. Again, that goes with like that whole padded trend. They're edgy, but like chic at the same time. Definitely a statement piece. We've got the fuzzy cream crop top, which you guys know I love a crop top. And then I even actually found a dress. Now, it's funny because a lot of the trends that I talk about today kind of intermix and intermingle, which just shows you how cohesive they are. But this dress is actually a padded dress. I'm so specific about dresses so different it's not like too girly and i think that's what i like about it you can throw it on with some combat boots some ugg boots whatever layer it how the girl has in the picture super next up i thought about wearing this trend in this video but we're gonna save it for an instagram pic so make sure you follow me on over on instagram because your girl has been serving lots of reels lots of outfit ideas lots of pictures if you missed content over here the content was all going over there, okay? So for the next time I take a break, make sure you are over on my Instagram at It's Just Jordan. But the next trend that we're gonna cover today are metallics. So if you saw my last video, you are like, Jordan, you already talked about metallics. That's true, okay? But winter's a little bit different from fall, you know? So we gotta do the more cozy metallics. But honestly, what I said in that last video about metallics still kind of carries on to this one. Metallics very interesting for winter first of all because there's a holiday coming up that everybody likes to celebrate that revolves around metallics, shiny things, sparkly things which all goes into this trend and of course that is New Year's. So when I'm saying metallics I'm talking pants, jackets, we are especially talking accessories. For this first picture we have our girl Zendaya rocking a little metallic mini skirt. This next one, we've got the metallic pants. I actually have some yet that I have yet to wear. I honestly forget that I have them. But when I do, when I do. And then for this last picture, we have a girl sporting her like metallic purse. So instead of like wearing it for clothes, she's using it as like more of a pop to bring some interest to her outfit. As far as metallics go on which you can shop, I found some really cute options. First of all, we're gonna start with like the diamond-esque tops. So it's not metallic but it still goes into that trend because it is like something super shiny. First of all, I need this one right here. The entire back is out on this one top. It is, this top is to die for. And then we have another variation of it right here where we see this girl layered it on top of her shirt. Definitely a fave of mine. I'm loving, loving, loving metallics on puffer coats. It's very futuristic. If you guys know my vibe, I love a fashion forward futuristic look so a metallic puffer coat is right up my street right down my alley however many ways people say that and then the last two things i have i found this little diamond bag this one's actually really affordable i feel like every time i find a bag that looks like this it's crazy expensive and then these shoes i have to say the best for last these shoes first of all they're betsy johnson i have been a betsy johnson fan since like I was 10. They got the Tiffany blue at the bottom. They're sparkly, they're shiny. But yeah, metallic trend, you can wear it all the way down. You can give us full tin man, or you know, you can just add a little sprinkle. Like even my nails, that's just like a good way to add this trend without like putting it all the way down. Okay, so we're gonna lose this jacket. I was trying to see how long I'd last. I think I did pretty good. She was she was a moment, but she it's time for her to go. It's giving Aaliyah. I've been watching you like the <laughs> Next up on our list of trends, and I'm living for this one, I have already indulged, is the cat suit. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm loving this trend because it's a comfortable trend. And it does not require a lot of thinking. You go in your closet, you grab a cat suit like a superhero, you put it on, and you can layer it if you want to, or you can just walk out. It's just really easy. There's so many different variations of it, which is another great thing. They've got different colors. They have different cutouts. If you want to do neutrals, you can do neutrals. If you want to be standout, you can of course go the Jean-Paul Gaultier Avenue, which is super poppin'. You guys probably actually already saw on my Instagram and even over here on my last vlog where I did a shoot for Armani and I wore a all black mock neck cat suit and that one was just such a moment and i just feel like i could wear it over and over again without like getting tired of it this is really given like 90s runway that was very big in the 90s thank you laquan smith because i feel like he really just showed the girls how you need to do the cat suit because these mesh cat suits that they've been coming out with 
I'm loving it. I want the Laquan one, but I may have to settle for the Laquan La, cause <laughs> yeah. So as far as the different cat suits that I found, we're gonna start with this wild card right here. It's like a cutout cat suit. So like I said, you can get really crazy with this trend. This is definitely like more of a going out type of moment. But if you're not like so much into going out or you just want something that's just more calm, there's also this naked wardrobe one that's open back, but still she is very much spicy. Uh, this is the same brand as the one I have, but this one is actually the one that I actually have and the quality of it is just so nice, so heavy and so thick. But another one that I have on my want list is this brown ribbed one. She just looks very comfy. I think she would look so good layered with like different cream jackets and a scarf. If I wanna bring my Ugg boots out, I know everybody doesn't like Ugg boots, but I mean, what y'all wearing on y'all's feet when it's cold? Y'all out here in flip flops. I just I want to hear from the people that say they don't like Ugg boots. What are you What are you wearing? <laughs> okay, next up on this trend, I'm a little salty talking about this because I'm still waiting on mine. It was supposed to be here today so I can vouch for it for you guys and show it to y'all, but it's not here. But anyways, <laughs> next on the list is the balaclava. I hope I'm saying that right. It's kind of a close mix up between baklava. In balaclava it's basically just like a detached hoodie and the purpose of it is really just to keep you warm like I said the trends are cozy this year the trends make sense so I actually ordered a cream version of this one I linked mine below but as you can see the girls the girls are bringing you the looks with the uh, I almost called it baklava <laughs> the girls are bringing you the looks with the balaclava I'm living for this vibe next trend knit everything not everything, everything, because when I tell you they got everything knit now, it's everything. Of course, when you think of knit, you definitely, first thing you think of is a sweater. Like I said, there's so many ways that you can wear knit this year. She is a good example of wearing like a knit short set, which I'm happy about because I actually already own one. For this piece of inspo right here, she is shown wearing like knit all the way down. She has on her knit pants, but is making it a little more edgy with her black coat. I think it's leather. And another way to make that like kind of remix that a little bit, we've still got knit pants, but these like tie up on the side because you do know like cutouts still very much trending this year. It's, it's still pushing. This top right here, my girl has the knit. She's got the knit gloves on. But I did find a lot of good inspo for this one as well. There was honestly so much of this to choose from on the internet, but here are just a few of my faves. You cannot go wrong with a good old knit pullover, pair with some leggings, combat boots, and you are good. But also, I do wanna kind of harp on these specific pants right here, because I didn't include this in the trend list, but it definitely is a trend that I see more up and coming, and I'll kind of throw in my little inspo pick of it. But what I'm talking about here is stirrup pants, yes, stirrup pants like the little horsey riding pants I think they were really big in the 80s the knit trend besides leather because we know I do that every year but the knit trend I think might be my favorite one it's just so versatile so comfortable yet it just looks so good okay this next one your outfit is never complete without a good pair of sunglasses. Now, I did not find any good links for you guys for this one because it's almost like there was so much I just didn't know how to narrow it down, but I'm still gonna give y'all some good inspo. First thing I think about when I think about sporty sunglasses, ski sunglasses, are the Bottega wraparound glasses. These glasses are so gorgeous. They are on my wish list for sure because I do need a cream pair of glasses anyway but very futuristic, not only those, really just any type of ski glasses. I mean, you can go and wear your dad's Oakleys and you're gonna pull off the trend with those. Um, I know there's a lot of them probably on Amazon. Really, you can find them anywhere, but it's just a matter of fact of finding some good quality ones. Now, these right here, I actually just bought these. These are the Dior ski sunglasses and I cannot wait to show you guys up close because you can't really see in this picture. Let me just tell y'all, they're a vibe, okay? If you haven't jumped on ski sunglasses, I mean, if you're not into the whole futuristic look, then, you know, don't jump on it. But if you are, get you some. We are to number 10 on our list, which means we are to our last trend on our list. This trend, again, has been something ongoing 
over the past few years but it's more extreme than ever now the trend i'm talking about are puffer coats but it's not just puffer coats i mean extreme puffer coats like if you go and find your favorite fashion website you're gonna see like puffer coats and then you're gonna see oversized puffer coats and that's crazy to me because i feel like you know puffer coats alone were oversized like i remember crying in elementary school because of the little pink hannah montana one i had to wear like my sleeves were dragging the ground i was I was so mad. What I would do to have that pink Hannah Montana puffer coat now? Because she would be a vibe right now. And I bet I could fit it now because that thing was like 10 times my size. When I think of extreme puffer coats, first of all, the first person that comes to mind is ASAP Rocky in this little picture. But yeah, definitely him. But when I tell you people are getting this extreme with their puffer coats, it's just such a fun trend. You can do it neutral. You can do a pop of color. You can do a print. There's just so much you can do with it. It's a very much streetwear type of vibe, street style. So if you're into that, definitely hop on it. I already own like boo koodles of puffer coats, but I do have some more on the way. But when I tell you I'm going to be so cute when I get here, can't wait can't wait that wraps up today's video i hope that my comeback was a comeback <laughs> i hope that you love the video um if you're not subscribed to me subscribe my numbers are growing so slowly like y'all be watching but like the numbers of subscribers be growing like they don't so yeah make sure you do that like the video if you liked it you can find me on these social channels right here and be sure to stay tuned for the rest of this week for next week upcoming because I have a whole list of notes it's a fashion idea video so I hope you're here to see it I'll see y'all in my next video goodbye